What is the dream Porsche for you? It is not an easy question, right? Ideation is super important for a design project and I kinda skipped that on the first episode. I want to directly jump into sketching but my brief was a little bit too wide. Because what is even a dream Porsche? 911 is the most iconic one of course, also great performance and good fit for daily usage. So it is a dream Porsche to me. But if you go a bit more extreme, Carrera GT still excites me a lot, this thing is a legend. 918 is the same way, right? Oh, actually what about the 917 from the past? These Hyper Porsches are very much likely to be a dream, right? But also let's not forget the Cayman. I really like it, it seems like the youngest member of the family. Energy, compact and super fun. Today Cayman is more similar to original 911s actually. So what is the dream Porsche? Well, it is not easy to answer that question, so we need to figure it out in this video. As a designer, instead of thinking, how would be my dream car, I'm gonna sketch. And I'm gonna sketch a lot, because this will help me to find the answer in a visual way. Here is a tip for you about sketching. When you start a new project, first sketches will not end up as you want. Mostly it doesn't happen. More you sketch variations, better you feel what to expect from the project. Also, you start to be more automatic with the proportions of the car you want to design. In that case it is a Porsche, and even if I love Porsche and sketch it time to time, it is very different to approach it as a project. At first I was sketching very limited, like existing Porsches, as they have very strong characters. But more I sketch, I started to push the boundaries of the brand easier. It becomes a numbers game to feel comfortable with the project. So the tip is, don't overthink, just sketch a lot. It is the best way to start the car design project. So after tons of sketches, it is time to decide which direction to go. While sketching for a project, I love to check inspirations. I watch YouTube videos, I have Hot Wheels cars, and I have design books. And this Porsche Unseen book is definitely one of my favorites. While I was going through the pages, the book showed me why to pick only one direction. I felt it's hard to pick between those sketches and ideas because I felt that I need to say goodbye to other ideas. But now, after seeing many design proposals by Porsche itself, it is easier to pick a direction, because later I can always go back and pick any of these sketches and do another project for the other ideas. At the end, it is a personal project, which doesn't require a lot of budget, right? To decide which direction I want to go with this project, rather than based on only the sketches, I need some AI power. If you are following me for a while, you know that I'm a big fan of Viscom. And this video is also sponsored by Viscom, so thank you for that. And if you are new to channel and if you don't know what is Viscom, it is basically an AI platform where you can import your sketches, write a prompt and get realistic renders out of it. That's what I'm gonna do now, but I also want to mention about an update for the beta users. You'll find a link in the description, you can apply for the beta, because there's a new workbench. Let me show you directly, here is the Viscom window that you know, create a new file. I can pick the landscape and hit create and on the left bottom side you will see workbench new. Again for now it's only for the beta users so you need to apply for it but soon it will be on the default version as well. So let's click on the workbench and here I see a plus icon. I can just import an image right here. So let's pick one of the sketches. For example I imported this sketch and then I can also go to this plus icon again and bring a prompt note. So these are the main two nodes that we're gonna connect each other, but first let's write a prompt. For example, Porsche 911 futuristic concept. So we have our options again, I can decrease it, for example, the sketch input to 90%, Viscom general and render, so I can hit generate, but it doesn't work because we need to connect them to each other. So I'm gonna drag this plus icon, and as you see, we have the hook, I'm gonna connect it to the prompt and hit generate. 
And okay, we have a result here, but what is the difference than the layers, right? We would also do it on normal create mode as well. The difference is, what I love about it is, I can hit now plus again. I can import another image. Let's go to browse. This time I want to add more like a hypercar image. I'm going to put this here and I can bring another prompt window and let's say futuristic Porsche hypercar concept. And I'm going to plug this one here and hit generate with maybe again 90% of sketch input. And here is the result. Interesting. And as you can imagine, I can create different node here, or let me directly show you. We can also duplicate this one directly. For example, I duplicated the same prompt. I can change the prompt as well, or I can change the input percent here. Let's say 70% this time. And I'm gonna connect the same sketch to a different node and hit generate one more time. So as you see, I can import many images and I can create different nodes, different prompt nodes, and I can get different results for each of them. And later, it's not even finished, I can create another node here, another prompt node. I can duplicate this one. And I'm going to keep the prompt same, futuristic Porsche Hyper Concept Car. But this time, I'm going to decrease it to, for example, 70%. And rather than render mode, I'm going to go to refine mode. So I can connect now the output already here and refine it further by hitting generate. And here is another result. I'm going to hold control to zoom in. And if I zoom out, I can already see like the workflow, you know? So I'm going to import more sketches on the left and I'm going to try different prompts and I'm going to get a lot of outputs that I can see my sketches in variations and in more realistic way that will help me a lot for my design process. But another thing that I want to mention is if you double click to any of these images, we are back to the window that we are more used to. So here I can get my paint, I can get my brush and I can improve this sketch further. So after doing some modifications on this image, I can write here the prompt. Porsche 911 race version futuristic concept. And this time, rather than render, I'm going to try refine. I will pick number four. And drawing influence is 50%. Let's see how it will be. So here we have some results. I'm not going to confirm any of them. I'm going to increase the drawing influence to 80% and hit generate one more time. Okay, these ones are better. Still not exactly what I want, but we are in a very early stage of the design anyway. So I can confirm this one, for example. So now if I go back to workbench, here we also have the result visible. So I can see the changes I did there also in the workbench. So now I'm going to import some of my selected sketches to this workbench and I'm going to put some prompts, play around to see different variations. Then it's time to pick the key output, the key sketch for this entire project. I refined some sketches before putting them to Viscom and some of them I refined in Viscom with their paint tools and refined features. I have to say I really enjoy this new workflow. But don't forget, still the sketching part is very important. If the sketch you import is off proportions or very wrong perspective, or if the idea is not good, even AI cannot help you. That's why I made my online car design sketching course. If you are not confident with your sketches, you can learn directly from me. The details are on my website berkaplan.com. Honestly, I feel like this new feature, the workbench from Viscom, is a little bit addictive. I really enjoy it a lot. Alright, now I'm gonna show you some results of the workflow. And then I'm gonna announce the winner, the selected key sketch for the project. You ready? Let's go. These are some of the work in progress and some variations that I did with Viscom, based on the sketches. And again, it was super fun, but the difficult part is deciding which design to go with. So these 10 are the ones I quite like and I refined them further. But honestly, the 911, even if I love it and one day if I can afford, I would definitely buy a 911. But for this project, I wanted to go a little bit more extreme, but also not as extreme as this hyper race car looking. Like I don't want to make this project for Le Mans or something. So I feel the most balanced one, also pushing the boundaries of Porsche brand, is this one. I like the proportions of it, I like that it feels like a supercar and I can imagine it from other angles with the mixture of sensual surfaces and the technical details. Alright, it was not easy to pick one direction, but a very important lesson here is a finished project is better than unfinished perfect project. So we are gonna develop this sketch further and I'm gonna focus on other angles of this car and keep designing this dream Porsche in the next episode. See you there.